So we've got to learn this whole new language, right? We're not going wee, 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 wee. We're going to go you, 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 you. Now, this can be used in so many different ways. I'm going to talk about recruitment later, but this is actually a job advert I put out for a member of staff. And the reason I put it here is because I, I won over Dawn Bennett, which very rarely happens these days, so I get to win over Dawn Bennett. And uh, we said, right, we need to recruit a new, what, I can't remember what it was at the time, Tensi manager or something at the time. And uh, she said, I'm going to put a job advert on Indeed. I said, OK, fine, I'll do the same on Facebook. She goes, what's the point? I thought, hmm. Gauntness has been thrown, then I say, what, what? OK, so uh, I wrote this advert. Now, just to give you an idea, she had three or four inquiries from her advert. I got 500 from this. Why? What's different about it? So this is the, the text. Do you love admin? Fascinated by property and have a desire to help people? If you do, we have just the job for you. Helping people find and moving to home based on our award-winning Wolverhampton office. We're looking for a full-time conscientious administrator. No experience necessary, but we will give you loads of training. Vibrant team, great salary, lots of promotion opportunities, two for the right person. Find out more, email this. What's different about that to normal job ads? It's not a list of things that we require. It's a list of things that they already have. And what am I asking for? Am I asking for now how to use Word, Excel, used to use a computer, must be all qualified or any of that? Am I asking for any of that stuff? I'm talking about their mindset. I recruit for mindset and teach skills. And I'm looking for the right person. Make sense, guys? So it's about you, not about us. So let's have a look at how we can do this within the Facebook system. So I'm going to take you through the brand building blueprint now. So number one, what are your customers' struggles? Right, what are they struggling with? What are they really struggling with? See, as Latin agents, we think landlords want less voids. They want security, want hassle-free letting. They want to deal with a letting agent they've got confidence in. So I'm sorry. The answer is they actually don't want us at all. They don't want us. Would you agree? They don't want us. What do they want? They want the ideal tenant. It's going to move in, pay them rent or whatever. With or without the letting agent, they don't care. They just want... The ideal tenant. So you've actually got to start telling them, like, OK, if you go down that route, this is the problem you're going to have. All right? So you've got to start telling them what their struggles are. This is our Dawn speaking at one of our landlord seminars. We record the landlord seminars, and we use that for all the social media marketing. It's brilliant, because she is frightening. If you want to see these videos, by the way, if you go on Concentric TV and go on Landlord Education, or whatever it's called, one of the playlists, you'll see hundreds of Dawn videos. She scares the living daylight out of you. You'll please feel free to share them and pass them on if you want to. But anyway, so this one just says, landlords, are you at risk of a banning order? Now, how many landlords do you think don't know there's a banning order potential out there? But there is. They can now get banned under the deregulation acts. They can now get banned. Banning orders for landlords are very real. You need to make sure you're not at risk of suffering this fate. Landlords in Wolverhampton, watch this now before it's too late. Is there a sense of urgency there, guys? Is it about us and consent and how brilliant our management team is and how we can help you with this super service and keep you all up to, up to date? Is it about that? It doesn't mention us at all. Just as landlords, if you are a landlord in Wolverhampton, you are under real risk right now of a banning order. Watch this video. Now, talking about communities and blue oceans, when you watch my videos, what happens, do you think? Who's gone into the back end of Facebook marketing? OK, what happens when you watch a video of mine? Now, this is boosted to landlord demographic 35 to 55 Wolverhampton area on the west side of town, which is where they all live. It's boosted to that, so I'm getting it in the right ballpark. Everybody that watches that video for more than 10 seconds or more than 25% or 75%, I will put into audience groups. Okay? So you go into the back end of Facebook and you say, everybody that watched this video, click into a group. Now, who's going to watch that video? Landlords. Is anybody else going to watch that video? Not really. There's no naked Britney Spears in there or anything like that to attract anybody else in. Um, I mean, Dawn does get the odd, you know, Grande Pecco's comment. But I mean, other than that, there's nobody really going to watch that other than landlords. <laughs> I never get those sort of comments. But anyway, so um, what we're doing is we're, we're farming. We're farming landlord data. Make sense? So as soon as you make a video and you boost it out, you just get Facebook to say, all those people that watch that video, plump them there. Now, we get about, so many views, 19.9 thousand views on that one. We get about 20,000 views roughly every weekend on these videos. So every weekend, we're adding 20,000 people to our audience. Now, they're not all new. Some of them are repeat. So if you said it's 5,000 now, because we've been doing it for a long time, 5,000 new people every month added onto our audience. What have we just created there, guys? We just created a Blue Ocean community. These are people that have listened to Dawn scare the hell out of them. Do they think, do they subliminally know that we know our stuff, yes or no? Do we have to go and insult their intelligence and tell them that we know our stuff? No, no because we're just scared.
scared of them, haven't we? <laughs> Try not to swear, it fails miserably. So anyway, um, we've created our own community, created our own Blue Ocean. Now, when we put in a landlord seminar, where do you think I'm going to promote that to? Where do you think, guys? Random Facebook ad, or am I going to put it to that audience that's already seen Dawn and said, do you want to see Dawn live? I'm not sure I actually want to be in the room with Dawn live, <laughs> but I think I might sneak in and hide at the back with my woolly hat on and see if I can get away with it. Yeah, makes sense? So you're creating your own Blue Ocean, you're creating your own community. Here's another example. This is Sue Gidney. She's one of our agent rainmakers. Um, she's just, just doing a, a what if my tenant won't pay. Now, who's that aimed at? Certainly not aimed at a landlord that uses fully managed service, is it? So it's aimed at a let-only landlord. A let-only landlord who's got a tenant that isn't paying, do you think they might watch that video? So again, audience segmentation. Another great way of finding landlords that have got problems. Do you think you're more likely to win an instruction for a landlord has got a problem or a landlord that hasn't got a problem? So you want to make videos about things that landlords have problems with to get them into your group, into your audience. Um, here's another one, Cavern and Co in Stourbridge, talking about serving notices, Section 8 notice again, a landlord that's got a problem might have just said, oh, I need to serve a notice, what is it? And someone's told them this and they don't know what it is, so they're going to watch that. Here's Harry Harper, more about sales, this one, um, talking about listing properties without floor plans, so he's aiming more at the sales market there. Um, Another Cavern and Co one, um, talking about tenants referencing, you know, landlords that go let only might not bother with the referencing because they think, ah, oh, my gut instinct's fine. <laughs> and so that's for that. Here's Dawn again, landlords from now on, in order to rent your property, your house or flat needs to be a minimum of E-rating on its EPC report. If it doesn't, then you cannot rent out the property without improving the rating or obtaining exemption certificate. This affects thousands of properties across Wolverhampton and the country. Dawn explains more. You can also come and see Dawn live at one of our Wolverhampton landlord seminars. You can see the link there. This is a capture post. We're pointing them to the Wolverhampton Landlord Seminar. Now, what do you think I think when there's a piece of legislation come out? I'm thinking, right, awesome, right, okay. We use that as a marketing campaign to get landlords into our landlord seminar. I'm thinking, happy days, bring them in, come on, get them in. Because landlords, you're going to get all sorts of problems, get banned, all sorts of things. You need to come to this landlord seminar, we'll tell you all about it. Rather than thinking, oh, more work, yeah? Make sense, guys? So that was a capture post. So you've got lots of posts, posts that go out and educate the market, posts that go out and scare the market, posts that go out and tell them the problems they don't even know they have. All this is collecting the audience. Then when you want to do something, you just go bang to the audience. And that would have been promoted to the audience that has already watched previous Dawn's videos. Now, what's the marketing rules? When you've seen somebody two or three times, what's the rules? They're starting to build a relationship with you. They've seen you a few times. They feel like they know you. They feel like they understand you. There's lots of people that know Dawn that don't know Dawn, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, Want to have a bit of fun? You want to show that you're human? One of the things that out there at the moment is that we're greedy, avaricious scamsters and we're not actually human beings. So I think it's good to show that we are actually fun people. Would you agree? Yeah, it's not all scary stuff. If you just scare them to death and don't do anything else, you can get a bit too severe. Um, so, for example, jump into the news. We call this getting the news. So what's going on in the news right now that you can jump into? If you're in the full flows of... Oh, that wedding was so wonderful. It was so lovely. Her dress was fantastic. Talking to the women now, the men are just thinking she's gone mad. Um, that dress was so wonderful. And you see this post, it's going to relate to you. To the men, it probably isn't. But it's there just as something to say, we are human, we are fun. Here's another one, Queenie's birthday. Harry Harper, Ben. Um, today is the Queen's actual birthday. He joins in wishing her a splendid day. Just showing that you're human and that you're fun. Here's another Halloween one, more appropriate right now. Hannah told the team to try and look a bit smarter for work. Happy Halloween. So again, it's just showing that you're human because people like to deal with people. Would you agree? You want to deal with fun people, nice people. Uh, here's uh, Sue at Richard James. She's got eight branches, loads and loads of properties under management, and she had um, International Women's Day. Now, what do you think when you see all those women saying these are all of our ladies that work for us? What do you think? As a landlord, what would you think about that? As a business, you'd think that's a big business. So if you're used to the fact you've just seen the little branch in Swindon and you thought that was the only branch, all of a sudden you're thinking, there's a bit more to this company than that, isn't there? As a competitor, what do you think? Slightly intimidated? Thank you. Bloody hell. That's phew, I've got a lot of staff. And they're all the, the women. Imagine if you had men on that as well. So it's, it's a, quite an intimidation post. It's a recognition post. It's a bragging post. We call it covert bragging. You want to write that down. It's a very key term, covert bragging. No one loves a bragger. If you go out there and here at Lawson's, we've won the Esther Awards and we've done this and we've done that, and we've done that. No one's going to read it. No one's going to like it. No one's going to engage with it. No one's going to share it. No one's going to give a damn about that post. <coughs> but if you covertly brag, you can get away with much more. I'm going to show you another covert bragging in a minute. Um, another one of ours. 
no, we've got um, loads of ladies and we have like crazy Christmas parties, which I hate, but we have to every year. <laughs> they love it. The behaviour is terrible. But anyway, we always get a few good photographs from it. it honestly, it is something to be endured, I promise you. Um, but uh, the, part, the photographs look good and we put those out there. And of course, the men are attracted because there's pretty girls and, and it just looks like fun. And we you know we're a bigger team than you would imagine and all that sort of stuff. So it's just, just a bit of a fun post. Here's Sue again talking about a local development that's just been put together. So she's talking about what's, what's going on in that particular development. And this is my first tenant fee ban post that I put out. I was on the way to Durham uh, to go and speak to that group that I told you about um, of letting agents. And I was just saying, so the tenant fee ban, what are we going to do? That was my first post that I put out there. Um, just sitting in the back of the car, just having a chat to the audience. So if you've got something big going on, landlords, what, what are we going to do about this? If you've got a HMO, have you made changes yet? Have you applied for your license? If not, you're already too late. I can help you. Give us a call. Just have something to talk to them about. Just straight to camera. 